If you have an EC2 instance on your AWS account like this one, Amazon provides status checks by default. These checks ensure that your instance is always available and always running. If something occurred that makes your instance unavailable, like for example, the network is down, you install the kernel that is not compatible, the file system got corrupted, or any other cause of the instance to be unavailable, an alarm will be automatically triggered. So let's have a practical example of how this can happen. We are going to manually cause this instance to become unavailable. We are going to bring down the network. So I'm going to take a copy of this IP address, which is the public IP address of my instance. And I'm going to log in to this instance using the SSH connection. Okay, so SSH-I, then the path to my private key, then EC2-user, which is the username of this instance, at the IP address that I have just copied, pressing enter, yes, and I'm inside. Now, with a simple command like this one, I'm going to intentionally bring down the network on my instance by stopping the network service. Of course, this session is going to hang because I am no longer able to receive a reply from my instance. If I go back to my AWS management console, I'm gonna have to wait for up to two minutes or a little more before the status check realizes that something wrong has happened with my instance that it is no longer reachable through the network. After a few minutes, as you can see, one of two checks have passed. This means that we are having a problem. But notice that AWS has done nothing so far in response to this failure. All what it did is that it is showing you a status check that has failed and now your instance, although it is running, but it is unreachable. If I go back to my terminal, I can see that now I'm out of my shell and if I try to access my instance again, using the same command, I'm not able to connect. So the only action that I can do is to manually reboot the instance like this. Actions, instance state, reboot. Yes, reboot. After a few moments, I can clear the screen, reestablish the connection once more again. Okay, I'm back inside my terminal and the network obviously is running. So. What if I want to be notified of such failures? And what if I want AWS to take actions on my behalf when such a failure happens? This can be done by creating an alarm. An alarm can be created easily by checking the instance that on which you want to create the alarm by going to Actions, Cloud Watch Monitoring, Add Edit Alarms. I'm gonna click Create Alarm. And here I have two main actions. You can select both of them or one of them depending on your needs. You can send a notification to an SNS group that you have created and using an SNS group you can send a notification to an email, a group of emails, an SMS text message or other forms of notification that SNS provides. You can also take an action in response to the failure event. In this specific example I am not going to send a notification, I'm only going to take an action in response to failure. And because most of OS related failures are resolved by just rebooting the instance or rebooting the OS, I'm going to select the last option in my list of available options. I'm going to reboot this instance. And I'm going to choose the condition in which this action is going to be triggered. And I'm going to say whenever status checks failed. And I'm going to choose instance. That is because I have another type of status checked failed, which is system. But system is rather related to failures that originate from AWS side rather than from the OS. It is mostly hardware related failures. So rebooting the instance will usually not be the correct option or the correct action to take. So I'm going to check status check failed in instance. And I am going to select that if the failure happens at least once in the consecutive period of one minute, which is the lowest period of time that I can select. And then I'm gonna create the alarm. Okay, close. And if I want to view or edit this alarm, I just have to go to the instance, right click, go to CloudWatch Monitoring, add edit alarms. I'm gonna see that I have my alarm. I can click on the alarm itself. I can change any of its settings. I'm gonna click cancel. 
and I'm going to recreate the failure scenario that I have did earlier. I am going to disable the network on my instance. Okay, let's just ensure first that we have two checks passed so that we are not in the alarm state. I'm going to go to my terminal and again I'm going to run the same command that I ran a few minutes ago sudo service network stop. Okay, now I'm going to return back to my AWS management console and again I'm going to have to wait for a couple of minutes, maybe a little more, for the status check to recognize that something wrong happened to the network reachability of my instance. Okay, now I started having an alarm. One of two checks have passed. This means that one of the checks is failing. After a few more moments, I have an alarm status. We no longer have the OK status, we have an alarm. This means that the alarm that we have set before has recognized that something wrong happened and it is now taking actions against this condition which is, as we configured it, rebooting the instance. So I'm going to wait for a few moments before returning back to my terminal and trying to access my machine using SSH again. Okay, and after a few moments, I have returned to my terminal. And of course, I have been kicked out of my SSH session before because I have intentionally disabled my network service. Now, if I try to re-establish this connection, I'm going to be inside my terminal. Notice that this time I did not manually restart my instance. It has been restarted for me by AWS because I have created an alarm that triggered that action on my behalf. If I return back to AWS Management Console and wait for a few more moments, maybe a couple of minutes, this alarm is going to turn back to OK. OK, and as you can see now, the status checks have passed. Two of two checks have passed successfully later on. And now we no longer have an alarm.